may mga times kung kailan ka nagpapasa ng Bible sa kakautusan. Amen? May mga times na kung ikaw ay nagdi-devotion sa kakapulitin ng alaga mo. Mga unseen forces. May mga times na nagdesisyon ka ng maging mabait, kinukulit ka naman ng kaibigan mo. Amen? Sino ngayon ang kasama mo ang kaibigan mo dito? Come on, taas ang kamay. Yung katabi mo yung kaibigan mo. Huwag yung ikahiya yung kaibigan niya. Come on, mag-taas kayo lang. Mag-taas kayo lang kamay. Akpayan ang kaibigan at sabihin sa kanya, mas maganda ako sa'yo. Nagsimula na ng awal. Ano nyo, si Pastor Edward, mag-chakroon kayo ng peace. Hindi na mga pag-aaway-awayin ko kayo. But they are spiritual activities. You are so sincere in declaring that, Lord, I am yours now. I want to be faithful in submitting, in giving what is due unto you. Pero gagawa ang kaaway ng mga tactics para masira ang commitment. Smile, babe. Maganda man. Yung iba dito, inaanya. Pero ang dami-daming reasons para hindi ka makapunta. Because they are spiritual activities. Minsan, smooth na smooth ang church. Bigla na lang magkakaroon ng tension. And if you are not careful, tayo ang mag-aaway-aaway. Amen? Pero yung ating worship team, mukhang wala silang away ngayon. Alam ko po yan sa mga practice, nagkakairitahan. Yung isa si, isa din. Yung isa si Tunado. Yung isa di Tunado. Kung hindi maingat, we're going to be against each other. But the battle belongs to the Lord. And we are not fighting each other. We are against, we are not against flesh and blood. We are against principalities and rulers of this wicked world. Remember, we are heaven citizens. But we are still here in this world. So therefore, the struggles are so intense. Hallelujah. How to win the battle? Number one, as mentioned, putting on the whole armor of God in verses 14 to 17. Stand firm then with the belt of truth, wear it, buckled around your waist, buckled it tightly. Baka naman kasi susuot natin, maluwag, okay? With the breastplate of righteousness, para talagang may pangsangga in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. Always know the gospel of Jesus. When Jesus was tempted by Lucifer three times, Jesus Christ said, it is written. So if we know the gospel of peace, we can overcome the tactics of the enemy. It is written. It is written. It is written. Then he won the temptation and Lucifer was defeated and Jesus Christ turned the world upside down. Would you like to say amen to that? Amen. In addition to all of this, take out the shield of faith. Don't let your faith be affected. If everybody is seemingly discouraged, you are up. Don't worry, sister. Our God can handle it. He never leaves us nor forsake us. Be a blessing to a lot. If everybody is seemingly negative, you are positive. May mga times din okay lang. Pero huwag mag-stay doon. Stand up. And by faith, acknowledge what the Lord is capable of doing. Kaya ng Lord yan. Naku, nagpapanik na sa preparation sa 20th anniversary. Sabi ni Pastora, kaya natin yan. Huwag magpanik. Wala nang pera. Yung mga naunang tumawa na pigil na pigil, walang pera yun. Pero you are standing fear. The Lord will provide. Amen. That's His promise. Pero po kami isang estudyante sa Bible School before, wala na siyang pamasahe. Pumunta siya sa Bible School, walang pera, nakukus na ang octopus. Naging pusit na lang. Pero sabi niya, I know Lord na makakauwi ako. I know Lord that you can provide. Pag uwi niya, nakita niya sa may MTR, may nakapigot. 
$20. Makakabalik ko siya the following week. And the Lord provided. Namamalang siya! May $1,000 sa pulsa niya mo. Sabi ka agad, Mom, answer prayer. Hindi ka nun, ha? So, ali, ha? Lord, give me $1,000, Lord. Namalaan siya meron. Isole, kasi bibigyan ka pa ng masigay. Sino yung naka-experience na malansya ka at may naplansya ka? Magtaas ng kamay. You see? At yung ibang hindi makataas kasi nga hindi isinole. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows. Papatayin natin yan, ang mga apoy ng arrow. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit which is the Word of God. One of our Saturday members, he asked for prayers for her pamangkin, 38 years old. The pamangkin met an accident motorcycle and he is now in ICU because he was not wearing a helmet. The helmet was going to be saving his life. That's why the Bible says, wear the helmet. Because if you are not wearing it, spiritually speaking, then we are going to lose our battle. Would you like to say amen to that? Amen! So, kung huwag pa rin itong mga uniform na ito, pag lang tayo ay nagpapahinga. But whenever we wake up, start praying. Pray in the Spirit. Begin to wear the full armor of God so that on the attacks of the unseen forces of the enemy, we can stand and we can the How can we win the battle? Second, praying in the spirit on all occasions. All occasions. If we have problems, tell it to the Lord. All occasions. Kung malungkot tayo, it's not a sin to tell God, Lord, ang lungkot ko ngayon. That's a prayer. Kung natatakot ka, tell it to the Lord. Lord, natatakot ang Lord. That's a prayer. And as a matter of fact, kung nagagalit tayo, tell it to the Lord as well. Lord, I'm very upset. At kami nga po ni Pastor Aliway, because we are both working in MMI, kapag ka kami irritated, nagsasabihan kami, it's not a sin to say that. Kasi si Lord, He can identify with all of our struggles and with all of our trials because the Bible says He was tempted in every aspect. Nalungkot siya, nagtalit siya, tinumpangan niya yung mga tables sa temple. So pag nagagalit ka rin sa amo mo, sabihin mo sa Lord, hindi na mag upset Change me, Lord. Kasi baka din tayo ang mga binabago, baka din sa atin may binabago ang Panginoon. Pwede to the Lord. On all occasions, Lord, I'm worried about my daughter. Tell it to God. Lord, I'm worried about my son. Tell it to God. Lord, I'm so upset with my churchmate. Tell it to God. It's not easy to do that. Lord, I'm so afraid. I'm so discouraged. Lord, I want to cry. Tell it to the Lord. He knows that. And He can identify with that. And then, after your prayers of being so transparent and honest, conclude it by saying, But I know, Lord, that you are with me. You know me, you can comfort me, you can wipe away my fears, away, you can transform my mornings into dancing. Ako Lord ay tatawa ulit sa kaligayaman because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Mga pastors, nasasakpan din ba kayo? Oo naman. Nalulungkot din ba kayo? Oo naman. Ang kaibahan ko namin ay ang tawag namin. But everything that you are experiencing, we are also experiencing that. But it's a matter of telling everything to God. That's why we can serve the Lord longer. Because as what the Bible says, David earned the title of the man after God's own heart. Because he was able to express with all transparency everything to his God. Amen. Kung mayroong unang sumbungan, gawing si Jesus yun. 
Huwag ka agad magtatalak sa katabi. Kung ikaw ay down, huwag ka agad sabihin sa katabi. Sabihin mo sa kaibigan mo, alam mo, darling, honey, o sa asawa, ikaw ay ano, depressed na depressed ako sa'yo. Ay, sorry, hindi sa'yo, darling. Correct, correct, delete, delete, delete. <laughs> Or PFF, malungkot na malungkot ako kayo. Sasabihin ng PFF mo sa'yo, alam mo, dalawa pa na tayo. <laughs> Pero kung malungkot ang BFF mo at ikaw ay up by faith, you are an encouragement. Would you like to say Amen to that? Pakisabi sa katabi o sige na nga, mag-single na lang tayo. Single. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. If somebody that you are feeling is down, pray for that person. Pray for your pastors. Pray for your leaders. Pray for your employers. Pray for your alagas that one of these days they will come to know the Lord. Pray for your children. If you love your children, the Lord loves them more. Amen. Kung mahal mo sila, mas mahal sila ng Panginoon. Lord, ipinakaupaya ko sa iyo ang aking mga anak. Ang asawa mo na love thy neighbor na ngayon? Alam na alam kung sino yung mga tumawa, no? Sabihin mo sa kanya, Lord, pagbalik ko sa Pilipinas, ibabalik ng neighbor. At meron ka pang empathy. By faith, Lord, ibabalik siya. Sila, Lord, ay hello, love, goodbye lang. Kami ang tunay. Would you like to say amen to that? Maraming ganyan sa Hong Kong. Pray for all occasions so that we can win the war. We are guaranteed of victory. The battle belongs to the Lord. But we have to do our part as well to claim it. We have to be strong. We have to stand by faith. We have to reclaim the territory because we know that they are ours. They are given by God. We are heirs to the throne. And one of these days, we will be with Him throughout eternity. The third, pray for the leadership, verses 19 to 20. Pray also for me, for Pastor Adiwai, for the associate pastors, for the department leaders, for the worship leader, for the music leader, intercessory leader, for the singing. Pray for them. Pray for your leadership. That whenever I speak word, may be given me so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. Pray for the family of your pastors. Pray for them. Pray for their children. The children are facing some difficult tasks. Mahirap din po ang maging pastor's kid. They are facing some difficulties as well. Pray for them. Pray for the ambassadors of Jesus. And pray for those who are being persecuted. So that they're gonna be more bold in proclaiming the gospel. Pray for everyone in the spirit. If you are struggling, pray in the spirit. Whenever you are going to the market, pray in the spirit. To those who are baptized by the power of the Holy Spirit, pray in the spirit. Lord, I'd like to buy this fish. Bibigyan ako ng discount. Hallelujah. Bibigyan ako ng increase. Hallelujah. Kukunti, yung malang, hindi ko malapak, hindi magkaka-increase. Bibigyan ako ng increase. By praying, in the name of Jesus, because you have Jesus in your heart. So therefore, you have special blessings and favors from your employers because Christ is with you. Amen. In conclusion, the battles belong to the Lord. If we have the battle that is belonging to the Lord, the assurance is victory. There are so many miseries if you are fighting for the war, for the battle. But there is the assurance of victory. If we are fighting and the battle belongs to the Lord, the battle the destiny is eternity. 
If we are battling against everything that is not seen, we have the assurance of victory and the destiny is eternity. The Bible says, to those who are faithful until the end, will be saved according to Matthew chapter 24 verse 13. Would you like to say Amen to that? Magkikita-kita tayo sa langit. Gusto nyo bang ang katabi nyo, ang kapitbahay nyo pa rin sa langit? Amen? We are going to be with Him throughout eternity because His promise to those who are faithful until the end is going to experience salvation throughout eternity. Hallelujah. Pakisabi sa katabi, I want you to be my neighbor in heaven. I want you to be my neighbor in heaven. Those who are first timers here, if you heard the gospel for the first time, it's not accidental. For you to win the war, you have to accept Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior, repent from all of your sins, and begin to acknowledge Him as the King of your life. Would you like to say amen to that? Amen. And I'd like to end this by singing this very important song because in every situation it's going to carry us. Would you like to say amen to that? Amen! amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hello guys, did you miss someone? Anniversary.